call me beautiful and then you walked in and I was automatically uncomfortable because I knew what I had on and I was just like ooh I hope they don't get the wrong idea because I mean this is my house like I didn't you know what I'm saying so I'm like hopefully he don't get the wrong idea he keeps running his mouth he's like being very talkative asking me a bunch of questions that I, I like I know when you're providing a service or whatever like I know when I used to work in retail I was talking to my customers like asking them that they find everything um oh is somebody having a birthday party if they were like buying balloons and stuff but like I wasn't really like in everybody's face the way he was in mine like he was really in my business like do you have a boyfriend are you in school do you live here by yourself type of questions and I'm like why right and another thing before I finish the story um when you also when you get your like cable service done they need your phone number to let you know when they're on the way or when they're outside or whatever the case may be and my mother because she wasn't there she put her name and number first and then she put my name um and number but she also had to tell them i was 18 okay because they do ask that question but they had to tell um she told them that i was 18 okay boom let's get back to the story so he was like um he was like um do you have a boyfriend do you live here by yourself blah blah blah, blah. asking me a bunch of questions and i'm just <laughs> because not that I'm saying I'm a victim or anything but when you feel like you're in danger or whatever like that you do not provoke the attacker you don't provoke them or make them want to do anything to harm you so I was trying to be nice just so that wouldn't happen do you get what I'm saying okay so he's like um in my face you know whatever and then he starts getting a little you know personal with the questions again and he's like so um how old are you you're 18 right and i'm like yes like i had one of two options i could say no i'm 16 and he can leave or um i could just hurry up get the cable done hope that he leaves early right so i'm like yeah and he's like, oh, you're just so beautiful. And I always get weird compliments on my skin. So that's what he was saying. Oh, you got really nice um, skin color. Very pretty. And then he was like, you remind me a lot of my daughters. So I'm like, okay, he's saying I remind him of his daughters. Like, maybe he's on some I'm pretty, like, father type stuff. Like, maybe that's what he was doing or whatever until he said um are you sure you don't want a boyfriend ha 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 i'm just kidding and i'm like sir how you gonna compare me to your daughters and then try to talk to me like this is getting weird like i was getting really creeped out or whatever so i get up and um i well i got a phone call and i get up and i go answer the phone call in the kitchen now the kitchen the whole house was pretty much open concept um but except for the kitchen like the kitchen had a wall so but there was no door to it so when i walked around the corner i answered the phone it was my mother she was asking me how they got there whatever 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 it didn't cross my mind to tell her like he's being really weird so it was just kind of like you know another thing um a lot of us girls do is we downplay stuff like even if we think like something's going on, we'll still be like, well, maybe I'm just tripping. You know, so that's what I was doing. I'm like, well, maybe I'm overreacting. Maybe he's not trying to talk to me like that. So I was like, um, yeah, they got here, blah, 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 blah. So she was like, okay, we'll be there soon. I'm, uh, she said, I just got to work. I'm picking up your brother now. I'm like, okay, cool. So by the way, y'all, he got there at 315 and by now it's five. So he's already here longer than he should be. Um, so I come back from like off the phone call in the kitchen. I come back in the living room 
And he's like, not to be weird or anything, and I hope you don't take this to offense. And I'm like, God, like, what is he about to say? And he's like, you have a really nice body. Like, I didn't think your body was going to look like that. He was like, but um, you don't have to wear those shorts to impress me. Who the hell are you talking to? Who the fuck are you talking to? Like, what in the fuck are you talking about? I'm not trying to impress you. If you were paying attention because I thought you were staring hard enough, you would have known I had this outfit on before you got here. And if you thought that I just went to go change clothes, um, I didn't. And I definitely wouldn't have been doing it for you. The hell? But yeah, that's what he said. And I'm like, uh, he got me fucked up. Like, excuse my language, but he do. Um, sorry, mama, if you watching this, you know. But anyway, he was like, um, you didn't have to change your clothes for me. And I'm like, and because I was so disgusted, I got up and I went back in my brother's room and I put on his sweatpants. And his sweatpants, my brother's skinnier than me, but the sweatpants he had in his room were like, those of a large male like they were 3x pants so I felt really comfortable once I put those on I'm like okay I feel better you know what I'm saying I feel like I can walk freely throughout my house so I come out of my brother's room close his door and I come back and I um I sit on the couch and he's still talking to me and I'm trying to ignore him um and and get on my phone and then he's like do you guys have an addict like, look, I'm a pretty, um, ooh, look at that. I'm a pretty paranoid person, okay? So, it's all because my sister had me watching little Lifetime movies and stuff. But, y'all, when he asked me did I have an addict, I'm like, uh, uh, I be watching Lifetime. I be watching Law & Order. You think you fucking slick? Hell no. Hell no, we don't have an addict. You know what I'm saying? Um... Because I was, like, really creeped out or whatever. So I wasn't going for none of that. Like, you wasn't finna just ask me where my attic is and then think you was finna come, like, stuff me up there or something. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but, yeah, he asked me where the attic was, and I was like, we don't have one. Nope. We don't have one. And he was like, um, he was like, are you sure? Like, I can't really have none of these wires hanging out. I, like, I need to put them somewhere. And I'm like, I think that's the attic right there. You know, the little squares in the top of the ceiling or whatever. I'm like, I think that's the attic, you know, whatever. And so he took like, I think a mop handle or like a broom or something and was like trying to like smack the ceiling where the square was to try to see if the attic will open, you know? Of course it didn't. Thank God. And so he couldn't like go up there or whatever then um while i'm on my phone and he's supposed to be putting in wi-fi and cable he's staring out the corner of his eye looking at me and i'm doing that because that's where he was like if i was sitting on the couch he was standing over there so he was like like watching me out the corner of his eye dummy i'm looking at my phone i'm not blind i can see you in the corner of my eye staring at me and um he was like, what did you go and put sweatpants on for? Why the hell do it matter? This is my house, not yours. Please do your job. Um, So I just looked at him and I'm like, dude, like, he's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So he starts walking around my house, literally walking around my house, like outside, walking the perimeter of my house singing and he had a nice voice but I don't give a shit you know so he's walking around this house um singing like one of them people that know that they can sing so they gonna obviously keep singing for no reason at all that's what he was doing so he's walking around singing um and then he comes back um in the house and singing in the house and then he said um I went outside to see if you guys had like a cable box or whatever out there it looks like I'm gonna have to install one I'm like okay like what the hell have you been doing here by by now it's six o'clock right what the hell have you been doing here for three hours so he's like I'm gonna go 
um, I need to move some stuff out of this closet. Now there's a closet right behind the front door. So if this is the front door. The closet was right here. So he was, he opened the closet door. He's like, oh, whose stuff is this? First of all, they were men's clothes. Second of all, they were my mama's boyfriend's clothes. Third of all, why the hell does it matter? Because you don't live here. You don't. So he was like, oh, I'm gonna need to move some of the stuff out. I'm like, okay, then move it, like move it. He was like, well, can you move it? Because I don't know what you want me to take out and what you don't. I didn't even wanna be near, <sighs> I didn't even wanna be near him. Like I just felt like he was testing my patience, but I was ready, you guys. Like my mama told me to stop doing this, but I keep knives on me at all times. And in this case, I had a knife in the couch, like literally in the couch cushions. And then I had a knife, uh, a knife under this, um, like the seat of the couch. And then I had a um, mace. So I'm just sitting there like, try something, try it. Cause I keep the mace in my bra. I was like, try it. So I went over um, and like kind of, you could tell I was uncomfortable cause I kind of stood like this while he was right there and like hurry up and moved. I made sure I didn't turn my back to him. Hurry up, move some stuff out. And then I like hurry up and ran, like ran around the table to go sit back down. And so he was like, um, thanks for moving the stuff. And I ignored him. And we had a huge entertainment center. Uh, in my living room on top of it being huge it was wood so it was already heavy on top of it being already heavy we had Wii's Xbox PlayStation stereo like movies video games all that stuff was in the entertainment center so it was heavy and this man had the audacity after being here for three hours to ask me to help him move that entertainment center sir I'm going to call your boss because obviously you don't know what you're doing. So congratulations. I hope it was worth it. Um, and so he did all that or whatever. And I'm like, I'm not about to help you move the entertainment center. I told him that I'm not about to help you. He's like, why not? I don't know because we're paying you like what the fuck? So he's like, well, I mean, I'm strong. I guess I can move it. Oh my gosh. Anyway, so while he is getting ready to move the entertainment center, he says something along the lines of, not word for word, but along the lines of, um, oh my gosh, I just, like, I want to tell you something. You make me nervous, but I don't know how to say it. And after that, I'm like, bro, like, I cannot be tripping. Like, I'm not making this up. This man has to be trying to get at me or whatever he's doing. So... When he said that last part right there, like I make him nervous or whatever the hell he was, uh-uh, no, no ma'am, okay? I got the hell up, walked in the bathroom, locked myself in the bathroom, called my mother, and I'm like, where the hell are y'all because I can't anymore. And she's like, what's going on? I'm like, I'll tell you when you get here, just where you at? So she was like, um, we're like 10 minutes away, but nah, they ain't come for like 15 to 20 minutes. But anyway, I didn't leave that bathroom until I heard them talking. And they were talking, um, by the way, I was in the bathroom shaking. Like, he just was making me really uncomfortable. He was saying some other stuff, too, but I tried to block that out of my head. But, um, when my mama got there, I heard her voice. And, obviously, she was pressing him, like, so what have you been in here doing? Like, that type of stuff. So, I walked out. I was so happy. I'm like, mama, come, come here. Come here. Come here. So... We went in the kitchen and I told her, like, he was harassing me. He was asking me a bunch of questions, blah, 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 blah. She's like, oh, really? So we walked back in there. He trying to have a conversation with my um, mama's boyfriend. Like, they all cool and stuff. Like, dude. And um, my mama was like, why are you still here? And he was like, oh, if I wait until, I think he said if I wait till 8 o'clock, he gets paid, um, time and a half or he gets paid double whatever the hell he said um for being there as long as he was there which nobody told him to be there that long he chose to be there that long and yeah anyway he did all that and um my mom was like nah you can go now and he was like oh okay she was like yeah like like you can go bye so he um grabbed his stuff and left okay 
that whole situation creeped me out. Like, honestly, God was, you know, on my side because it could have gone a lot worse. Like, he could have tried something while we were in there. We was in there alone for four hours, you know what I'm saying? He could have kidnapped me and put me in the back of his van. Nobody would have known, right? Nobody. So, um, that was the end of that day, right? Okay. The next day rolls around, y'all. And I believe we were either going to or coming from, but I want to say we were coming from a basketball game. And I get this phone call. And let me tell y'all something. The um, Memphis, Mississippi area code is like 901, okay? I got a 248 area code because I'm from Detroit, right? So I'm like, who is this calling me? Like, who is this, right? So I didn't pick up the phone, obviously, because nobody mistakenly dials 248. Like, if you're dialing the 248 area code, unless you are in Detroit or in Michigan in general, um, you're not accidentally dialing 248. You're doing it purposely. So anybody that says, oh, I accidentally called you was lying because my number everywhere I've lived, nobody has had a number anywhere close to mine at all. Like most people from Michigan don't even have 248. They have 313s. So like you tried it. But anyway, I get the phone call and I'm like, obviously somebody's purposely calling my number. So who is it? Um, so I didn't pick it up. Oh, and we was at McDonald's getting food, right? But we stayed in the car. My mom and her boyfriend went inside. When they came out, as soon as I turned around and I was like, I'm like, you know what? Maybe that was the cable man calling my phone. Well, it didn't click until I looked at my mama, and I don't know why. But my mama came to the car, and I'm like, mama, can I have your phone? And she was like, yeah, for what? So she hands me her phone. I'm like, I just want to go to your call log real quick. She was like, all right. So I go to her call log and she opens the um, her phone up or whatever. And I'm looking at the call history. I'm like, which one of these is Comcast? Like, which one of these numbers is Comcast? So she said right here, y'all, I pulled my phone out, went to my call log. You'll never believe the two numbers that matched up. You'll never believe it. Not in a million years. The number that just called me and the Comcast people why they intertwine why was it the same number okay so i'm like okay he knows where we live he knows that i'm at home by myself majority of the time so i think it's time for me to spill the beans so i told my mom i'm like look i told you that he was harassing me but really he was saying really inappropriate stuff to me blah 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 blah, blah. you know tell her what he said she's like uh-uh call him back call him back so i called him back or whatever and um honey child she went off first off she called the phone back from my phone so so it would make sense right so that people knew i wasn't crazy and i wasn't making this stuff up she called him back from my phone this man when she picks up the phone had the audacity to say hello and then i didn't obviously we didn't say anything and he's like um didn't think you were gonna pick up and i hope this is not really forward of me saying this but my mom would didn't even let him finish she said bitch why are you calling my daughter's phone excuse my language i really don't like cussing on here but she was like you know b where why are you calling my daughter's phone and um then she started cussing him out don't ever effing call her phone again you're a pedophile blah 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 um and if you call her phone again we gonna have some issues and then he was like oh no 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 i wasn't trying to call her phone for anything like that i was just trying to see if i left my wrench at you guys' house you're installing cable and a cable box and wi-fi in my house what did you need a wrench for were you building a table like what are you <sighs> honey child my mama said don't call her effing phone again hung up and she told me to block him y'all and i think she went and complained about him to their company too when i said i didn't get no more phone calls or nothing to him that's when it clicked in my head this up like, because you had the audacity if you left your wrench because you wasn't off work yet yesterday you would have went to the other person's house that you need to apply um cable or wi-fi in and then you would have been like oh i left my wrench at their house that's number one number two my mama's number was the first number on the list so why didn't you call her you fucking creep 
And then the third, like, it didn't even cross my mind that he was a pedophile. You know what I'm saying? It didn't cr I just knew he was creepy, but then I was like, well, I was 16, but then I did tell him I was 18. But either way, you were in your 50s, so what you doing talking to a 16-year-old or 18-year-old? Like, come on now. But anyways, y'all, that was my creepy story time. You know, I again, I apologize. I was supposed to tell this story um October 1st and then the footage was just garbage so I needed to retell it but anyway y'all I need to finish this video so I can start telling the story for my next video but if you like this video make sure you like subscribe and leave me a comment on other stuff you want me to see or leave me a comment if you had some creepy person trying to talk to you because I know women be doing it too guys okay and um I'm going to leave my social media in the description. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Anyway, um, see you guys in the next one.